Hi, my name is George Hotz. I play a character named GeoHot on the internet. I used to hack cell phones, and now I build self-driving cars. You may have seen me in Bloomberg last December. I had a self-driving car. I still do. But now I have a company as well. And now we have a self-driving car. And we have an incredible self-driving car. And by the end of the year, for under $1,000, you too will be able to have an incredible self-driving car. And this isn't like you got to bring it to some guy and he's going to do it. We want to put it on Amazon Prime. We want to make it. Go to Amazon Prime, search self-driving car, comma AI self-driving car kit, add to cart. It'll be here in two days. And then it's as easy to set up as a piece of Ikea furniture, if you think that's easy. And then you have a self-driving car. And that's our dream. We're comma AI. Was that good? <laughs> <laughs>
you know, grow with it, right? Trust her for a second. Trust her for two. Trust her for ten. Get in the back seat. Have sex, you know? <laughs> <laughs>
Um, we just want to get these things in as many cars as possible. We want to get this thing into users' hands. To me, that, that's worth so much more than cool. nickel and diming. Why? Why? Because yeah. I think it's cool. So just because it's cool? I mean, part of it too is like, I'm really interested in artificial intelligence, right? right? And building huge data sets that can teach an AI about the world. So kids do nothing for like the first two years. They kind of just sit there, you have to feed them, and they're looking around, right? They're learning about the world. When you look at the data rate going into that baby's brain, it's insanely high. There's so much data. Mm -hmm. uh, bigger than any, probably bigger than any at least human annotated data set that's out there. Not bigger than like the amount of YouTube videos that's larger. But um, we need data sets of that magnitude if we want to train human level AIs. Um, so that's, I care a lot more about that than I do about you know, making a profit off users. There's so many other monetization routes here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and eventually, eventually, well, we're not gonna lose money on the hardware, right? We don't, we don't wanna sell these things at a loss, but, you know, it's not like we're building these things for 50 bucks and selling them for 1,000. <laughs> if we can build them for 50 bucks, we'll sell them for 60. <laughs> um, so yeah, the app is definitely free. So yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. Um, I came to Las Vegas, right? And uh, I thought it'd be cool, have a press event in Vegas. Sure. I think Vegas is awesome. Uh, but have you ever actually looked at a road in Las Vegas? Yeah, they suck. Yeah. So this is a road, right? They don't just suck. They don't have lane markings. Well, I mean, they do. They're just not painted. They're bots dots. Yeah. So Mobileye had to spend engineering time to write a special detector for bots dots. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work very well. Um, you can yeah. read in the Tesla user forums about people trying to use it around the Vegas area. Um, and, you know, you don't want to have two detectors because then you have an if statement to switch between them. So we always mm -hmm. say in common AI, if statements kill people. Um, our car has literally never seen bot dots like that before. So it's two nights before, I'm crashing at my friend's place in LA. I'm looking on Street View. And I'm like, they're everywhere. You can't get away from them. Uh, I had a nightmare about bot dots. Seriously. Uh, and we get here, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Mm -hmm. But then we looked at what time of day it was. It's dusk. Our car has dynamic range issues at dusk. As soon as the sun fell, it started working on bot dots. Woke up this morning, worked flawlessly on the bot dots, despite never having seen them before. Mobileye spends engineering time and can't build something that works. Our system is so robust and reliable that it drives on something it's never seen before because a human would obviously think they're lanes, right? And there's a lot of other intuition in that, in that highway image that I'm showing you. Look, look at where like the tire tracks are, right. right? It can look at all of that and understand this is how I should drive. And that's what makes us so different from every other approach out there. Because that's what it is. The hard part of this is not building the thing with the motor that can turn the steering wheel and the gas and the brakes. It's writing the software that can take sensors, figure out what to do, and actually do it. Well, we didn't get to spend too much time with George Hotz and his self-driving Acura, but he's based in San Francisco, we're based in San Francisco, maybe we can meet up again soon. We don't know yet if this product's gonna be successful, but I, for one, can't wait till the end of the year to find out.